I would have uh, some blood in the, when I use the restroom, and at first they thought it was an infection. It was no infection. Brian Mann got devastating news diagnosed with colon cancer at 49 years old. From being perfectly healthy and normal to now trying to figure out where my life was heading. Living a healthy life, Brian says he had always followed protocol when it came to medical advice and that he had planned to get a colonoscopy at age 50, which was the recommended age a few years ago. If I would have uh, gone to have the colonoscopy two years prior, then I wouldn't have any of this. And, you know, you're put on a track of a terminal illness, then you know your time is up. It's just a matter of how long that time is. Brian, a special education teacher at Ocean Lakes High School, turned to David Bostick, a biology teacher. His classroom happens to be next to my office. Office. David is all too familiar with the journey that Brian is on right now. He went through it with his wife, Olivia, who died of colon cancer in 2014. He's a personal counselor for me. He's in my office all the time anyway. He was um, helping me out and giving me advice and talking me through a lot of that stuff and probably talking me off the ledge a lot, which, like I said, was a tremendous help for myself, my wife, the children. David says at 37, his wife was in the best shape of her life and worked as a physician's assistant. I don't have a picture where she wasn't smiling. There's never a moment that she couldn't walk into a room and smile and brighten everything up. So she is a very dynamic person. Medical experts say overall fewer people are dying of colon cancer, but what's concerning is an increase in the number of younger adults getting it. Why are younger people getting and dying from colon cancer is not fully known. There's a lot of research going on that. Back in January, local doctor Bruce Waldholz was named to the National Board of the American Cancer Society Cancer Action Network Board. He says they've lowered the screening recommendation from 50 to 45 years old. That change was made after new data showed younger adults being diagnosed. One study in 2015 found concerning information about our region. Surprisingly, the third hotspot in the United States with southeastern Virginia and northeast North Carolina. He says certain areas within Portsmouth and Norfolk have a much higher mortality rate for colon cancer because people are being diagnosed too late and they receive less access to care. In fact, your zip code may be more important than your genetic code in terms of your lifelong risk of both getting, being diagnosed and being successfully treated for cancer. And sadly, experts say 51,000 people will die this year from colon cancer. To put that in perspective, that's about half the population in the city of Portsmouth. So what can you do to protect yourself? Colonoscopy certainly saves lives, screening saves lives, and you can decrease the risk perhaps by 50 to 90 percent with screening. Experts say look for rectal bleeding or blood in your stool, change in your bowel habits that last for more than four weeks, overall weakness or unexplained weight loss. I think it's important for everybody, but specifically younger patients, to know your body and talk about your symptoms with a physician. That's the message from Olivia's yeah. loved ones. Any small change could be something that could save your life. They started a nonprofit called Live On to educate more people, help patients financially, and remember the beautiful woman they miss every day. We get to keep her name alive, keep her thoughts alive by presenting it and helping other people. And she's helped a tremendous number of people just through the foundation. Helping people like Brian and his family. Um, without their help, I think I would definitely be in, in a world of hurt financially. But more importantly, um, the education. As they continue their battle. And obviously, we're fighting for every day, and we continue fighting. I'm Margaret Cavanaugh for News 3.